Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to my SimCity video tutorials. Let's continue on with the challenge. I have gotten a recommendation to name the city Funky Town, so that is what it's going to be called from now on. Changing the name to Funky Town. And we are back. The service is running, the utilities are running, the sims are running all over the place, most likely. Yep. They are at their jobs, they are shopping, they are going to schools. Will they go to school? Yep, tomorrow. So we are up and running. Now it's time to start expanding. The first place I can start expanding is up here. I just need to add some more parallel streets. Just like this, and now on this side, that would be here. So there would not be enough space for two of them. Well, then we can just zone like this over here, and like this over here. I can even connect this here, but I will not zone right here so that I don't have any traffic jams right on that spot. Now I can do the parallel streets over here. Now my initial assessment was that I would be able to move this medium density avenue a little bit to the right and gain enough space for these guys to go to medium density. So I may attempt just that and see if it can fit. So I will pause the game, delete up to the police station, not the police station and see just how much room do I need. So street would have to be about here the avenue i mean so that means something like this should do it now let's see is there enough room yep enough on this side enough so now just let's reconnect this and we are operational Now the question is where do I put this street, I could put it something like this or I could do something a bit simpler and just connect it over here. This can go all the way down there and be a four way intersection or it can simply stop at about here. this side it can continue but I will not connect over here I also need to connect now that this is zoned and soon to have sims living here I can advance onto the sides I just need to add more road up here and down here then I can start connecting these long long streets Just as before, I am going to place some of these streets between these two blocks so that people can turn around and do U-turns if necessary, but I'm going to try and avoid 4-way intersections, so I'm going to put these on places where there aren't any in the next block. Now that I have connected the streets, now I can get to zoning. I'm following the same, same blueprint as before. First some industry, then a little bit of commercial, and then a lot of residential.
and then once again some commercial. And then again some residential and so on and so on. Now that I have more people in the city I can build a mayor's house. This one I will place about here. Now it's not a bad moment to see if I have enough utilities and services for these extra sims. When it comes to having a, one clinic I have 31 injured sims and 19 sick sims. So that means one clinic is not going to cut it. I'm going to need another clinic. Now I can either choose to place it on the left side or the right side. For the moment it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to place it over here on the left side. And that should be enough coverage for health. When it comes to the police and the fire department, one fire department and one police station seems to be enough. As for the school, it is 1am and I should soon turn it on. I am going to have a lot of sims to be educated and my grade school needs to be upgraded to the max. Now I also need to add school bus stops on these new zones. Now let's see about the utilities. I seem to still have enough power, enough water, enough sewage capacity and enough garbage capacity. Now I do not wish to use up too much space with garbage dumps so I'm going to place some incinerators to get rid of this garbage. Now that this expansion has been done I just need to wait for the sims to move in and I will be going to cheetah speed and waiting for 3 or 4 a.m. to turn back on the grade school. Now that the city has expanded I am going to need more garbage trucks so I will be adding a garage to get two more. The school is probably gonna get filled up today so in the near future I'm going to have to place a high school. Now I can upgrade my town hall once again. And so I now have a free slot in case I need any of the new departments of which I'm probably going to need the Department of Utilities to have access to higher water production and sewage treatment plants. Now we are up to 16,000 sims. I have none unemployed, almost all of them are satisfied. I even have unsold goods before seems that the shops are opening up before homes are being moved into, but that's okay. And when it comes to freight, I have unfilled freight orders. Well, that is because there are more shops than there are even sims to shop in them and soon I should have enough factories up here opening up to fill up that freight. Now it seems I have far more fires than one fire department can manage, so I am going to add some more fire trucks. And the school was filled, just like I said, up to full capacity, which means that tomorrow I am going to have to level down this grade school and build the high school. Now if you see factories not using up space just like here, you can level down these factories and destroy this garbage that is piling up and once you have added enough of this extra space you just have to make sure that they do not build on the old places. You can do that by destroying a little bit of it, just leaving enough for one factory to be built, waiting for it to go up and then adding more zone. You see, now it's built here, you unzone where it already built and add more of the zone. And there we go, now I have enough space here for another one instead of just garbage. I'll do the same thing here. 
Now that I have closed down the grade school for today, I need a bigger capacity for tomorrow, since tomorrow I am going to have 1500 students. So the grade school has to go. It was an investment, it did pay out, but now it has to be torn down. Now, time for the high school. Now the high school doesn't seem to be able to fit into this runabout which means that I can either place it around here somewhere or I could tear down this police station fix the road so it will go straight and just put the high school about here I can check how many criminals do I have I have one criminal inside which I can live without so shut down the police station let the criminal go bulldoze fix the road and now I can put high school right here while the police station can go on the inside of the runabout high school currently has only place for 800 students I can upgrade that with a classroom and classrooms only go up so it doesn't waste any space I will however have to pull up more bus lots so, all the way to the max, 4 out of 4. I can keep it off until tomorrow and save 2000 per hour. Now that I have done all the missions that I'm going to need from the education specialization, I can simply stop specializing in education by turning off this guide me. We are now up to 21,000 sims and there is still plenty of room for them to move in. I can expand two more blocks here and another full block over here. I'm also going to fill up this room here later on. So just how happy are these sims now? Oh, well, let's take a look, 77%. The residents say that I need to raise the value of land for the medium wealth, but since I really don't need any medium wealth workers, I do not care. Low wealth say that people are dying. Well, that's because there is a lot of industry and a lot of them are getting hurt or injured. There's not much I can do about that and that happiness from health is probably going to be a big problem when I want to reach 95%. What do the commercials say? They say they need more freight shipments and more workers. Also that, ne that need for more workers comes from not having enough medium wealth workers, which I do not wish in this city, because if I have medium wealth that's going to actually lower the amount of population, since medium wealth and high wealth homes have only a fraction of the population that a low wealth home has inside. When it comes to the industry, they say Freight shipments are profitable and they do not seem to have any issues. So let's see about those extra freight shipments. I have unfilled 348 orders. That's about probably four factories or so. Let's see if I can fill any more. One is opening here. Another one can be opened over here. That's two. And I believe two could be fit right about here. One here, and I think I could even place one, um, something like this. There we go, that should take care of any necessary rate. I still have enough power for from just having one wind power plant and one wind 
turbine because with winds of 19 miles per hour I am producing 5.7 megawatts and not even using that much. As for the water, one pumping station is also enough and the sewage there is plenty of capacity left. The increased number of garbage trucks is doing its job and all the garbage is being picked up and also this incinerator is burning it fast enough that I do not need to upgrade any more landfills. The fire department is managing to put almost all the fires out, I'm not losing too many buildings. When it comes to the health, my number of deaths per day has been lowered from 7 down to 2 and hopefully I will not have any more of those. The police still only has one criminal at large which is more than great. As for the school, well it's 3 am, I can, can turn the high school back on, 1800 students can be taught in this school. With this capacity I only have 1500 students which means I can even upgrade around here and I'm still going to have enough room in that high school without even having to upgrade it. So let's add some more industry, some more shops and some more residential. Now let's just check on the balance. All the workers are employed, I even have a lack of workers. The goods, a few of them are unsatisfied, that's fine, that can be left like that. As for the freight, I am only missing 200 freight, which is okay, it's not too much of a big deal. The kids are hopefully going to be educated and once these heads go up in number and I have two or three heads, I should have fewer fires and fewer six sims. That's the benefit of being educated. They are less likely to start fires and less likely to get sick or injured. When it comes to the industry, I'm really hoping that all that dirt is going out. Pollution, air pollution is going outside. There is no air pollution inside my city. As for the ground pollution, well, there isn't too much of it yet, so it's not too much of a problem. Well guys, I believe that should be it for this video, I will keep expanding this city and I'll see about what I will be showing you in the next video. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more.